Hello and welcome from Studio 5781. I'm Stan and this is the 1986 Georgia LSU Contest highlights from Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. Early in the game, Tom Hodson back to pass for the Tigers. Hits Wendell Davis with a perfect pass from the redshirt freshman who had started four years for LSU. It's a first down for the Tigers and they are moving the ball. Tigers would end up getting a field goal on this particular drive. Here's another look at that pass. Look how perfect it is right in the breadbasket. And look at that great catch and holding on to the ball after taking a hit. Later in the game in the second quarter, freshman Harvey Williams would go over the top for LSU's first touchdown. And with the point after touchdown, the Tigers would lead 10 to nothing. But Georgia would come rushing back. In the second quarter, behind 10 to nothing. On this play, the quarterback back to pass, rolls right, hits his running back for a first down. He's out of bounds at the Georgia 29. A couple of plays later, quarterback goes back to pass, looking to his left, then quickly to the right, throws it deep, hits a fullback. Yeah, that's a fullback. 224 pound fullback. How many times have you seen a fullback at 224 pounds make that athletic of a play? David McCluskey from Rome, Georgia. It's LSU 10-7 now in the second quarter. Late in that quarter, LSU would take a punt, get a holding call. First and 10 inside their own 10-yard line. Hodson would go back to pass and hit Kitchen over the middle, who didn't want to go down, but the Silver Bridges ripped the ball out and get the recovery. Georgia has it in the red zone with less than two minutes in the half and a chance to take the lead. Here's a replay of that. Kitchen, first team all SEC tight end, just wouldn't go down, but he should have because the Silver Bridges ripped that ball out and they've got first and goal. Their first play from scrimmage here from the six. The quarterback rolls to the left. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Georgia. But wait, there's a flag. Georgia has an ineligible receiver downfield. They're taking that touchdown off the board. A couple of plays later, the quarterback rolls right, looking to pass, but he's going to tuck it in and run, cuts back to the left. He's at the five, the three. He's in the end zone, fumbles, but as you can see in the replay, he was already across the goal line when he dropped the ball. So Georgia takes the lead into the half with that turnover inside the red zone. It's 14 to 10 at the half, Georgia. In the second half, third quarter, Hodson from the Georgia 42 pitches to true freshman Harvey Williams. Who has a nice gain and a first down for the Tigers. Hodson again back to pass, throws it in a crossing pattern to Wendell Davis, who fumbles the ball out of bounds. Then on second and eight, Hodson back to pass, throwing the fade to the north end zone corner in front of the student section to Wendell Davis, who would be a first-team All-American leader in the same season. LSU takes a lead they would not relinquish. Wendell Davis, he caught just about everything thrown his way that year including that one. Here's a replay of that. Look at the nice fade from Hodson, the red shirt freshman All-SEC player to the All-American. Beautiful pass and catch. LSU 17-14 over Georgia. The Tigers would get a couple of field goals in the fourth quarter and lead by eight. 23-14 late in the game in the fourth quarter. Georgia is moving the ball down the field, threatening to take it into the end zone. And here's what happens. Back to pass. He throws it deep towards the end zone. Intercepted by All-American Chris Carrier, one of the early DBU members. He takes it down the field, runs it out of bounds, essentially sealing the victory for the Tigers.
over the Georgia Bulldogs. Another classic Georgia LSU game. The Tigers win it 23-14 on October 11th, 1986. Thanks for watching. From Studio 5781, I'm Stan. Go Tigers.